oldest children of all ages. Welcome to Robert's Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. WWE Fastlane. It was basically, WWE is like, we know what we want to do. Uh, we just have to tell the fans what we're going to do. It was a SmackDown, that's all it really was. Um, matches weren't great. They were alright. Alright, Shinsuke Nakamura versus Rusev. Nakamura won. Obviously, you're not going to have your Royal Rumble winner lose this close to WrestleMania, or more than likely he'll win. Rusev was over like a mofo right now, but WWE doesn't do anything with it. Uh, I give it a three star. All the matches are three stars. Um, U.S. title line, we had we had a champion Bobby Roode defending his title versus the Viper Randy Orton. The one title in WWE that Randy Orton has never won. Again, three star match. Um, Randy Orton, new United States champion. Yeah. Jinder Mahal came out and attacked Randy Orton, and, and then Roode attacked Orton. So it looks like. It looks like we're going to have a triple threat match at Mania between Randy Orton, Bobby Roode, and Jinder Mahal for the United States title. Next, we just had a women's tag match. We had Naomi and Becky Lynch versus the Money in the Bank winner Carmella and Natalya. Um, Carmella got the pin on Becky. I gave you two and a half. Carmella and Natalya getting the victory. Next, we had these SmackDown tag tiles on the line. We had Champion is the Usos, Uso Penitentiary versus New Day. Um, had Kofi and Xavier. They're like, all right, this actually should be good. You know, these guys haven't really matched up much. And, you know, two of the best tag teams in this era. Now let's do this. And in this qualification, um, nine minutes in, the Bludgeon Brothers came out in the deck boat teams. Then they drew, drew out that segment of, you know, how powerful the Bludgeon Brothers were, they took them out, and they, took, they had to put Kofi on a stretcher, and they, they all got walked out, it's the worst scene in a long time, and blah, 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 and drug out, it's like, oh, are you freaking kidding me, people. So they ruined that match. Next, we had the SmackDown Women's title line, we had Ruby Riot, leader of the Riot Squad, versus champion Charlotte Flair. Not much to it. Um, I gave it three star. I mean, it wasn't anything spectacular. It's just another SmackDown type match. A um, couple spots that Ruby Wright did where she damn it murdered Charlotte. Charlotte was on the top row, or in the top turnbuckle almost, looking towards the crowd. Ruby pushed her off, and she damn near hit her head on the freaking barrier. Um, but other than that, not a lot to it. <laughs> Charlotte retained. Um, once the match is over, Oscar's music hit. Oscar comes out, had the little stare down, turns her points at the WrestleMania sign. So we get Charlotte versus Oscar for the SmackDown Women's Title at WrestleMania. Holy shit! The two best women in WWE Women's Wrestling history, one on one, WrestleMania 34. Stoked for that one. Um, next, with the main event, the WWE title line and the six pack challenge, we had John Cena looking to create his own WrestleMania moment. How can I get to WrestleMania? We had Baron Corbin, winner of the Money in the Bank, and lost during his cash in, wanting his own WrestleMania moment. Dolph Ziggler, been crapped on, crapped on, crapped on, looking to make history, be, you know, win a world title, become, get his own WrestleMania moment. Then you got the Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Are they together? Aren't they? They're best friends. But Kevin's mad at Sami right now. But Sami said he would lay down for Kevin. Did he? Well, only time will tell. Versus the champion, the phenomenal AJ Styles. As phenomenal as AJ is, he's got a make sure because he can lose his title even if he does not get pinned. So he had basically had to hang out in the ring all night to make sure that um, nobody else got pinned and, lose, and lost his title. Um, 
Yeah, really. I mean, it was just a clusterfuck, to be honest with you. Um, I once... <laughs> uh, he went this super kick. I think it was Dolph. Um, and when Dolph moved, I think it was Dolph. Whoever was moved, he super kicked Shane because Shane was sitting at the ringside. Well, a few minutes later, Kevin went to get the pin. Kevin goes to pin Dolph, and Shane pulls the referee out. You're like, what? Whatever. And then Sami Zayn went to get a pin, and Shane pulled the referee out. You're like, okay, something's not right here. So, and even when it started, they had a stare down between Dolph and Shane. So you're like, okay. <sighs> What's Shane's role in WrestleMania going to be? We know what Tripp and Stephanie are doing. What's Shane doing? Um, rumor was Shane and Dolph. I'm hoping maybe he's the referee between a match with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. But um, he obviously stopped count, stopped the pen on for Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. So there's heat there. We've already done Kevin Owens and Shane. So. <sighs> Um, <clears throat> Dolph went, <coughs> excuse me, um, Zane went to lay down for Kevin Owens, um, basically just, you know, said, hey, I told you I'd do this for you, we're best friends, I want to do this for you, he lays down in the ring, and Kevin goes to pin him, Sammy does the roll up, nothing happened from it, um, flying in forearm later out of nowhere, we have AJ Styles come in, and one, two, three, AJ Styles retains his WWE title, going on to Wrestlemania to defend his title versus the, the Royal Rumble winner, Shinsuke Nakamura. So yeah, not a lot to it. Um, a lot of prep for Mania. That's about it. Uh, we'll wrap up the 2018 WWE Fastlane review. Thankfully starting in Mania, we have one a month. Um, so combined shows for everything, so we'll see how that goes. Make sure you stay tuned to Robert Sports Show for the road to NXT TakeOver New Orleans, the road to WWE WrestleMania, and then the previews for Mania, NXT TakeOver, uh, Supercard of Honor, Evolve, and then the reviews will be obviously I'm going to the shows in New Orleans, so I come back Monday, so the reviews probably Tuesday, Wednesday that week, it's going to be late. Make sure you check out the... Uh, Pro Wrestling March Madness, and then all the March Madness, and see the late March Madness stuff coming to Robert Sports Show over the next two weeks. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show, and don't we? Don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports channel content.